So the causes of chronic disease were not well known in 1950. So during that time, they tried to fix chronic disease by trying to enhance the mitochondrial function. Now we can do both. In this article from 1950, the doctors are trying to treat peripheral neuropathy by treating lactic acidosis, which we now know as mitochondrial dysfunction. And in the article, they say, since it's rare to find the cause, they go ahead and treat with vitamin B1, B2, and B3, which is thiamine, riboflavin, and niacin, and give liver injections. And if that doesn't work, then go to the hospital and do a lavage or clear out the lungs. What they're trying to do is get oxygen into the body. So what blocks oxygen from getting into the body? That's toxins, parasites, it's biofilm. And in 1950, they didn't know too much about the, the causes of chronic disease. Chemicals were not very prevalent. It wasn't until 1962 when the public became aware of DDT as a problem. It wasn't until the 1980s when the public was starting to be aware that mercury, for example, from teeth was a problem. It wasn't until 10 years ago that plastics was decided to be a problem. Now you have to treat the causes and you can fix the mitochondria and then you feed the organs to make symptoms go away.